Hello, this is the Game Queen. We're back with Magic School Bus. Let's explore some bugs. Yeah. Last time, we got our plot twist. There's a bug missing from every one of the terrariums. Probably because of lizard eating them. It's like genocide. It's nothing like genocide. Alright, um, so, with her little dealy boppers here, and we're gonna go on the bus. Also, last time we learned that Arnold wanted to join the basketball team, but now he won't be able to. It's tragic. We also listened to a cool country song. We got nothing done last episode. Let's go! Class, we've no time to lose. To the bus! And don't forget our trusty clipboard. We'll be checking it for clues. Also, I realize I probably have played this before. You're in the driver's oh, seat yes, now. Oh, yes, I have. <laughs> and just in case somebody asks you for a license, let's go pick one up. Yep. Ten. Before we can get this show on the road, you have to have a driver's license. Obviously. Just click on the ladybugs to select the skin, hair, and features you want. Then, when you've got the perfect look, click on the back arrow and we'll be off. Now that's what I call a face. Oh boy. Okay, let's click on the most ridiculous thing possible. That's an interesting look. Here, let's give me some cool bug piercings. Now there's a truly fabulous face. Let's see. I won't spend too long on this. Oh my, you look marvelous. Yes. <clears throat> Now there's a truly fabulous thing. Oh my, you look marvelous. Miss Rizzle, the optimist. I want blue hair. No, That's I don't. an interesting look. Yes, it is. Oh, in the animals one, you yes. could be like spotted. Oh my, you look marvelous. Yes, we are done. It's a snap to get where you're going. First, click on the steering wheel, and from there, you can go anywhere. Yep, this is like Magic School Bus Explores Animals. I do remember doing this. Now, okay, let's click on it. Use this clipboard to get clues about the missing bugs by clicking on the question mark in the net. There are four bugs to find that are missing from their terrarium. Remember, there are four habitats to explore, and there's a missing bug in each one. And much like, much like the magic school bus explores animals, um, there's a back of the bus. So we're gonna do that last. Okay, and also we got this guy. I'm the jitterbug. I know all the moves, and I'm here to jigger up fabulous facts for you know who. Uh oh. Fact number one. Here goes. The rat-tailed maggot lives on the bottom of the pond. But it can breathe air through a long tail that it uses just like a snorkel. All right. Let's click on him again. Get ready. Have I got a fact for you. A Hercules beetle can lift five pounds. Now you know how it got its name. That sounds like not impressive. And then you remember, it's a beetle. <laughs> These facts are jumping. Catch this one if you can. Oh dung beetles make dung balls with their front legs. Then, using their hind legs, push the ball around, going backwards. <laughs> Listen up. Here comes another one. I have no idea. A grasshopper can leap more than 200 times its own length. I have no idea how many facts he has, so... Oh, how I love to dance the fact arena. Cicadas what? can sing up a storm by vibrating a part of their body that's like a drum. Every, everybody heard about the cicada thing happening recently? There, apparently a bunch of them are going to fly through the U.S. These facts, crickets have ears in a very strange place, <laughs> underneath their knees. Which kind of makes sense. Sort of. Time to dish up another one. The hotter the weather, the faster the cricket sings. Okay. I think that's enough for now. I spent like five minutes on facts. 
Let's go. 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 let us go 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 let us I knew I should have brought some extra lunch. Yeah. Welcome to Sorry the fabulous that didn't work. forest where bugs bounce about in the sun and shade. Grab a net and you've got it made. You can turn the music off or off. Um, so I don't know why that didn't work. It's probably because the games are getting older and the computers are getting newer. So they're not meshing. <laughs> These are our tools. We like tools. There's nothing like the right tool for the job. Click a tool if you want to know more about it. Some bugs you see will be more clear when you use this tool to bring them near. Click this guide on a bug for close inspection. Each bug you click goes into your collection. When you're out in the wild and you see a bug you need to get, capture it by clicking on it with this net. That was good rhyming. I don't have the timing. No, that was terrible. Stop it. Stop it. No. Outside. Outside. It's been a wild ride. Now let's see what's outside. Yes. I, I can't. I'm not riding. Oh, stuck. I'm so glad to see you feasting your eyes on the forest. If you're doing some detective work, you just might want to check the terrarium for clues. And she's a moth. The red admiral belongs to a group called the brush footed butterflies because its front legs are like little brushes. I tried to get close to one of them, but it gave me the brush off. That's not even a pun. That's nothing. That's no pun. What is Red that? Admiral Larvae actually eats stinging nettle plants. Humans can only eat stinging nettles if we cook them so that the stinging hairs will. I'll pass, thank you. Oh, oh. Okay, so their backpacks are their reports. They come out swinging. And on the left side of the branch, we have Dangerous Dan the Stag Eater. Look how he's put the lock on the intruder. Down he goes. Yes, he's out for the count. Let's see. Some ground beetles have long, narrow heads, so they can ah. reach inside a snail's shell to oh, gobble it up. No. They're really ahead of the game. Not the snail he ate. With six long legs, that ground beetle is built for speed. And even if it were its low coat, it could easily catch the snails and slugs it loves to eat. I wouldn't go near that ground beetle if I were you, Carlos. It squirts out a smelly liquid when it's disturbed. When the ground beetle's around, your nose really knows it. Oh, man. That nest under the ground used to belong to a mouse. Now it's the winter home of the Queen Bumblebee. She seems happy there, but you'd think royalty could afford something better. <laughs> What's that sound? It's the cicadas. They make that sound by vibrating a part of their body that's like a drum. Don't they ever take a break? I mean, they just go on and on and on. The queen bee fills these tiny honey pots with pollen and nectar for her baby. Hmm. Later, the worker bees give the female live a special royal jelly to eat, so they'll grow up to be queens too. If you ever get the feeling you're being watched like a hawk, it just might be the robber fly. When he sees something he likes, he'll take off after it, and then zap! Just before it becomes a moth, the polyphenous caterpillar lives inside a beautiful silken cocoon. That about wraps it up. Ah. The polyphenous moth has one giant eye spot on each wing, and you can see right through it. Until he blinks. No, that didn't make sense. I wonder what my friends will say when I tell them I morphed into a Luna Moth. They'll probably think I'm a Luna Tit. Nope. Go for the forest. It's where bugs galore live up in the trees and down on the floor. Okay. You're just dancing. What? That snowy tree cricket is rubbing its wings together to make music. It's like she's playing the violin. One wing is a bow, and the other is like a string. You've got to be very patient if you're a dome-weaving spider waiting for a meal to come by. The patience is usually rewarded. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was... 
ignore me. I'm... At the beginning of spring, the yeah. morning cloak butterfly comes out of hibernation to sip the sap dripping from the tree. And how delightfully delicious sipping sap really is. When spring's in the air, there's food everywhere. Okay. Um, that's about Wow. Look at the colors on that underwing moth. Like Miss Frizzle always says, never judge a book by its cover. Stop that, true Tim. This bug might look like a dull drab thing, but there's a blaze of color under that wing. She's like rhyming. That underwing caterpillar makes a pretty convincing twig. Just think, someday it will branch out and become a giant moth. Oh my God, the puns. The puns. Okay, um, let's catch the beetle. There's gonna be probably an art thing and a game in every location, which means four games, four arts, you know, the usual for these kind of things. But, I guess let's find the bug first. Let's do that. Get clues about the missing bug in this habitat by clicking on the question mark in the net. In winter, the queen always goes to rest inside an abandoned mouse's nest. I wonder what that could be based on the facts we already know. Ha ha ha, I know it already, but let's listen. When you find this one, it's sure to be buzzing around quite busily. Find the round and furry ones under the ground. They pollinate flowers and make a buzzing sound. It's like, the first one's like, we're gonna give you kind of a hint. The second one's like, okay, here's the answer. And the third one's like, you're Put dumb. Put this net on any bug you need to catch. If you're lucky, it'll be a match. Okay, ready? Ta-da! I'm glad to see that bumblebee's back. Come to think of it, I'm glad to see its front, too. It's a fun and dandy game. It's time to give away our Master Bug Inspector Certificate. One bug down and three to go. Listen to that music. It's like elevator music. Like, congratulations. Here's your elevator music. Right. I love how you can print all these things. It's like, wow, I want to print everything. Okay, um, we have a little time. Let's do the art project, because that shouldn't take very long. That would be like me messing around a little. Get ready to decorate your poster. There are plenty of stickers here for you to choose from. If you want to add some bugs from the habitat, it's simple. Click on a bug in the wild, and a sticker of that bug will show up here. Have fun! Ooh, ooh, I have an idea. Ready? Okay. Nope. Nope. Use this tool to make your stickers larger or smaller. It was a normal day. Everyone was hanging around. Hold on. Hold on. Whoops. Nope. Smaller. When suddenly giant moths began attacking. Ah. And bugs. And spiders. And whatever. Okay. See, you can print there too. Okay. Um, next time we're going to play the game for this area. So I will see you then. Bye, everybody.